cool and cloudy and still a chance for a couple of raindrops here over the next hour to hour and a half. And it's uh, being picked up on radar, but it is very, very light. So if you forget your umbrella over the next couple of hours, you'll still be okay. Uh, it looks like these really light showers are just hugging the lake shore right now out on the radar, out through the west end as well, down around the Golden Horseshoe uh, towards Brantford, Norfolk County, and then edging towards Grimsby. And again, about an hour, hour and a half, and all of this will gradually start to clear. We're already seeing uh, the backside of this system, so still some cloud back through London, uh, but to the west of that, we've got those clearing skies. Now, I say clearing skies, but as the winds get lighter tonight, so there we go, done with the precipitation. We're waking up to a lot of cloud cover, a lot of low cloud, and some of that may even, as these winds ease, uh, turn into some mist and fog early tomorrow morning. Wouldn't even be surprised to see a little bit of drizzle down along the lakeshore as you head out the door in the morning. But it's really midday. We get into some spotty showers, thunderstorms. A thunderstorm is being picked up here by the oranges, so especially watching the Niagara Peninsula but also areas to the north end of the GTA. It's not going to be an all-day rain. In fact, by about 1 p.m., we may see some good sunshine, temperature soar, and that will help to fuel a second round of thunderstorms between 2 p.m. and about 4 p.m. Good news is 4 p.m., we should be done with it. This is your 6 p.m. snapshot. This is your drive home. We should be into sunshine and dry conditions, and then we'll cloud back over for Friday morning. So uh, up until noon tomorrow, maybe just a couple of millimeters. This model wants to put in a little heavier pocket up through Newmarket, but that bullseye is where the thunderstorms will be, could easily move around the GTA. So all I want you to do is just keep your eyes to the sky. You hear that uh, thunder or see the lightning, you get yourself inside for at least 30 minutes until that last rumble, and it's safe to go back outside. Friday's dry Saturday could see a good 10 millimeters of rain with a storm risk and then Sunday we dry out again. Hey, look at that though. All seven days we should see daytime high temperatures starting with a two. So that's the good news. It'd be nice to see a little bit warmer, I know, uh, for patios and barbecue weather, but other than that, we'll take it.